In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to colorize a black and white image. So this is the original and you can download this image in the description section of the video below the video. Um, so you end up with something like this and the tools we're going to use today are the paintbrush tool, the eraser tool, the blend mode. I've used multiply or burn in this, whichever is the most suitable looking. And we will look at using the paths tool to create a, a selection which you've done in a previous tutorial that we're looking in I think it's 1.2 or 1.3 you've done this in so uh, to begin with I'm just going to have a copy of this open again because I don't want to ruin the original so here we go and we need to add a new layer okay so to add a new layer we go to the layer or we go to the new layer pretty simple and make sure it's transparent because you're going to be painting over it and you want it to be transparent because otherwise you won't be able to see through it and you need to be able to see through it to see the, the background image that's going to be behind it. So click OK and we've got this new layer. And then it's pretty straightforward. We need to choose a colour that matches Nemo. Now Nemo is a fish and he's orange. So if we click here on the colour picker, choose orange. Make sure you move that dial up there so you get a nice bright strong orange. And you can have fun. You've got the paintbrush tool. Not the size of the paintbrush. Let's see if we get a little bit more than that. You can do like spots of paint all over Nemo. And it doesn't really matter at this stage. This is the easy bit. So I'm just going to put a load of paint over him. And I'm not going to do the whole thing uh, today. I'm going to go to select and none and then all. Select none. There's no need to select none. Right. Okay, so we have this splodge of paint over Nemo and it can be reduced in opacity because it's a transparent layer and you can get that kind of effect over them. What we're going to do though, we're not going to use the opacity, we're going to use a blend mode and the blend mode is going to be either multiply or burn. So we'll just have a little look at which looks best with the orange. So let's multiply. And all right so far, I might try burn. Burn's a lot deeper. All right, so I like that and I'm going to show you a couple of techniques now to remove the orange away from the white and the black because that doesn't look too good. It looks like it's all been overlaid with orange at the moment. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a simple trick using the eraser. So to do the eyes, I select this tool, which is the eraser, making sure that layer is still selected. I'm going to drop the size drastically of the eraser. So we're using paintbrush before we, we keep all those settings. So that's fine. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to just rub out the eye there. And I'm doing this freehand. Tip is to do small strokes by clicking down the mouse a little bit and then letting go. So if you need to undo by pressing Control Z, you can undo small bits at a time. And it's a lot more suitable for you to do it that way. So that's the first technique. Um, you, can, you can finish off doing this yourself. I'm getting a bit pedantic. I want to make this a three minute video if possible. Right, the second technique in order to remove areas, you see I've just gone out there. It's not as neat as you can be. Um, we use the paths tool, which you've learned before. And I'm just going to select a small section for now. Obviously the black and the white should not be covered in orange, but I've, I've splodged the orange all over them. And yes, that is a technical term, splodging. Right, so just going around this particular section, including the black and the white. I'll just stop there. I want to connect this path. So I use the path tool to do that. I want to connect these paths together with Shift and V. And then I can use the eraser inside of that. The eraser won't go here, it'll only work inside that selection. You can hit delete on your keyboard as well, but sometimes it's nice to give it a bit more control by using something like the eraser. And then we go select and none, and that deselects it there. Now, that's one way of doing things. So you've got either freehand with the eraser or using the paths and then selections and paths. You need to go around all the bits that you want to take the orange out of by doing that. And obviously, you can see it's an orange mark all the way around it. Finally, if you want to add colour to his eyes, make sure you're on that layer still. Go to the colour picker. I'm going to try choose a nice deep blue colour. Um, choose a paintbrush. And as the blend mode has already been set to burn, you should have a nice overlay of blue. Again, try not to go too far over the edges. If you do, you'll end up like that. Control Z. And um, I can't do it on this eye because I haven't removed the orange to make that. So that's it pretty much how to colour a black and white image and 
I'd say it will look pretty good if you spend the time on it. This will probably be the longest piece of work you'll do following a video tutorial. But just using those techniques I've taught you there, you should be fine. Make sure you're removing stuff from this layer, not this layer. Again, that's what you started with, that's what you've overlaid.